Paramount Pictures presents a color classic cartoon, Christmas Comes But Once a Year, released December 4th, 1936. I'm Jerry Beck. This is the audio track commentary. I am joined by Mike Kazala. Hello. And we're going to look at one of our absolute favorites, a classic, starting off with a wonderful three-dimensional background set, as they did so well. And we go into this orphanage, where it's supposed to be a Merry Christmas, but it's a little bit pathetic. It's during the Depression, and these kids got nothing. And we'll uh, look right in on them. This cartoon, of course, features Grampy. And uh, Grampy was a regular in the Betty Boop cartoons. And that is not Pudgy. Oh, it looks like Pudgy. And uh, these little Campbell kids are the orphans. And uh, Grampy... As you can see, they're optimistic anyways. (laughs) Very optimistic. Well, who isn't optimistic at Christmas? Another great song. Um, I love how these kids, you you really, are they boys, girls? What are they? I don't know. But they're, they're kids. They're kids. They're just generic kids. Anyway, Grampy, of course, was really based, uh, at least the speculation is, is, is the character was based on uh, Max Fleischer because he's an inventor. And always coming up with some wacky invention, which the Fleischers did, and Max Fleischer in particular did. And I think of all of the uh, original characters they created in the later, in the mid to late 30s, Grampy is certainly memorable. I'm a big fan of Grampy. Um, there's a lot of characters they created in that later period that just didn't go anywhere. Whiffle, piffle, anybody? Um. Not really, no. Or, or Pudgy. I mean, I know some people like Pudgy because he's merchandised with Betty Boop, but he's a little too sweet for oh, me. This, this is just too sad. Oh. Man, this used to break me up as a kid. The Island of Misfit Toys. Yeah, this part's really sad. Seeing kids crying in a cartoon is very, very sad. But uh, luckily, Grampy's coming. There is a Santa Claus. Christmas comes but once a year. Now it's here, now it's here, bringing lots of joy and cheer. Da, 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 da. Oh! Grampy is coming in his motorized sleigh, one of his wacky inventions, which might actually work. <laughs> I, I, I always wonder. I'd like to see somebody actually do some of the things that Grampy does. Well, they all yeah. seem to make sense. I mean, I know it's a cartoon and they can make it make sense, but... Yeah, but something about it. All, these things always seem plausible in these Fleischer pictures. Right. I mean, at least within the logic of these cartoons. Grampy puts on his famous thinking cap, which is what he did in the Betty Boop yeah. cartoons, and when the light bulb goes off, that means he's got an idea. By the way, one of the things about this cartoon really shows off uh, the Fleischer's skill in using layout and camera moves and editing. And the following sequence has some very strong composition and staging and use of camera work. Convenient. See, that was all one shot from coming yeah. in the window. That was always one of the strongest cards in the Fleischer's deck was their filmmaking, and this is a very good example of it. If you can identify- I mean, why, why couldn't this work? I mean, somehow as a kid you knew this stuff wouldn't work, but you wanted to do it anyways. Although they would never let us make a cartoon with somebody putting nails in their mouths. <laughs> Oh yeah, these cartoons are loaded with things they can't do in cartoons for kids today. 
I mean, why wouldn't this work, you know? I... <laughs> and we'll conveniently ignore that they won't have anything to cook with after this. <laughs> Grampy's a bit of a madman. Yes, once he's headed for the barn, there's no stopping him. Luckily, every uh, everything he pulls, every three things he pulls, makes something good when you put those three things together. Oh boy, Grampy's got something planned for these kids. Everything is very recognizable, too. Uh, audiences of the time, particularly, could recognize stuff that's in their house. That, you know, three or four items that are commonly in your house are suddenly make, are, are, take on a new form. Yeah, Grampy becomes Santa Claus instantly. Luckily, he had the white beard. <laughs> Santa will say Great us. delayed reaction. I don't think today they'd let kids no, play with a vacuum cleaner like that. <laughs> it's a large economy size. <laughs> I'm going to ruin the house. Boy, did I want to try to make this out of the home percolator. Right. Now, this one definitely wouldn't work, but... Well, I knew it wouldn't, but I wanted to do it anyhow. Yeah, well, your mom wouldn't <laughs> let you touch the china. <laughs> I love how it's made out of, like, fancy dishes. <laughs> and he's referring to the owners of the building, who will never recognize this stairway. They won't be able to bathe tomorrow. But what the hell? What's Christmas without a little snow? And now he's going to put together a Christmas tree. And this is a really cool three-dimensional ending, which also has this Easter Seals stamp of approval or something over it. Any comments on that, Mike, as we conclude this film? On the Easter Seals? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what the story is behind that. Me neither. Well, it's certainly a striking effect. Yeah. No, we use that cartoon in a cheater film. Never seen. Why do we have to have that beginning on? It's too sad. 